hello viewers in this video i am going to show you how to configure the single channel lora gateway module first i am going to show you how to do the connections uh, first we need to connect the antenna to the lora module and then we need to give the power supply and then so there are two ports are available that is a man port and the lan port in the lora module and if it is a laptop connection we should connect the lan cable between the lan port of the laptop and then the lan port of the lora module and then uh, connectivity internet connectivity we can provide using the wi-fi and if it is a desktop connection then lan cable as it is we should connect between the LAN port of the desktop and then the LAN port of the LoRa module and then the WAN port of the LoRa module we should connect it to the external router for the internet connectivity and I have not connected any internet any Wi-Fi now I will show you the first step uh, in order to configure the LoRa so what what uh, first we need to do is uh, as I am using the Dragino LoRa module, so I am using 10.130.1.1 and uh, for this configuration we don't require any internet connectivity. So what I will do is uh, I will put the password, username is uh, root and the password is Dragino. This is the password, I will log into this. Drag it on and I'm going to log in. Yeah, and then first, what we need to do is uh, checking the firmware version. Here it is showing IoT 4.3.4. So 4.3.4 is a so it is a compatible version, and uh, always it should be. 4.3.4 are the higher version in case if it is a lower version than the 4.3.4 then what we need to do is uh, we can install the new firmware version so I have provided the link in the description box uh, there you can uh, get this link you can download and you can install the firmware version so if it is higher than 4.3.4 version so then no need to worry so it will work fine and then the first setting what we should do is uh, that is uh, going to the sensor and then updating the flash MCU so here uh, flash MCU means uh, MCU image means the packet forwarder we need to upload here so packet forwarder means I will explain you in uh, simple words so basically a packet forwarder is a software running on the LoRa gateway it allows LoRa concentrated to transmit and receive the LoRa packets uh, it is basically a LoRa data packets from both uplinks and downlinks means uh, from the end node to the network server side or from the network server to the end node side uh, it can be classified or categorized into two types single channel packet forwarders and uh, multi channel packet forwarders and uh, in this video we are configuring the single channel gateway so we should use the single channel packet forwarder and uh, here I am showing you the links where you can find the packet forwarder of the single channel or multi channel so if it is a semtech you can find the packet forwarder using this link and for the TTN you can find in this link and for the Dragino single channel packet forwarder you can uh, get from this link and uh, similarly Raspberry Pi also you can find so these links I have provided in the description box you can download and uh, you can use this
and then so I will come to this configuration so I was explaining you so this uh, flash MCU so here MCU image means so here uh, basically we are going to upload the packet forwarder so I will upload the packet forwarder I'll choose the packet forwarder so this is a single channel packet forwarder so I'll upload this and then clicking on this flash image so that it will upload or it will get installed in the LoRa gateway and after this uh, we get a notification here I'm waiting for that and here it is giving the upload results successfully it is uploaded so next step to crash check whether the packet forwarder is installed properly or not is so we need to go to sensors and we can click on the microcontroller option and in microcontroller option this third thing is the MCU version so here it is showing the single packet forwarder version 003 so it is successfully installed and then the next process is going to the sensors and then going to the LoRa LoRa van and here we need to upload the gateway ID this is a very important step so gateway ID so in the last video already I have explained how to do the uh, gateway configuration in the TTN so if we go to the TTN we can get the gateway ID here so I will get this gateway ID I'll copy this and I'll paste here gateway ID and then email address so this is not mandatory so if you wish uh, you can uh, add here and then the next thing is latitude longitude uh, it is also not mandatory if it is a, a GPS based project so then we can put the latitude and longitude and then the TX frequency and then RX frequency so in the gateway configuration in the TTN so we were selected the frequency range between 865 to 867 megahertz so between that any one frequency we can uh, choose it for TX means transmitting frequency and receiving frequency as it is a single channel gateway configuration both TX and RX frequency should be same means there is a single antenna so that antenna only it will be transmitting and it will be receiving and the same frequency if it is a multi channel gateway then we can choose the different tx and the rx frequencies already so frequency i have entered so it is well within the frequency range which we were mentioned in the ttn so here we can check here so 865 to 867 megahertz so this frequency is between that well within that so we can choose this and then these options are uh, not necessarily to be modified so what we have done here is we have entered the gateway id and we have chosen the tx and rx frequency and then just clicking on save and apply so successfully gateway id got registered and then next thing is selecting the IoT server so there are two servers are available here uh, LoRaWAN, MQTT, GPS and TSP four IoT servers are available as we are doing the LoRa gateway reconfiguration we can select the LoRaWAN and then just clicking on save and apply 
and the last thing what we supposed to do is uh, going to the network option and in network internet access internet access so here we can select the WAN port mesh Wi-Fi or Wi-Fi client USB or the Ethernet connections so here I'm using the Wi-Fi so I'm using the Wi-Fi client and the SSID will be the so SSID of the Wi-Fi connection which we are going to use so here I'm going to use this Wi-Fi that is a geo underscore 2068D33 so I have entered the same thing here and then for this Wi-Fi encryption type is WPA PA2 so already it has been selected in the previous configuration and here we can find the different config encryptions so no encryptions WEP, WPA, WPA2 and the different uh, encryption types you can find here as the Wi-Fi which I am using it is using the encryption WPA, PA2 so I am choosing this and the Wi-Fi password we need to enter here so already it is entered here and then no need to modify any other uh, options just clicking on save and apply it is getting updated yeah successfully it is updated so this is about the configuration of the LoRa so and then uh, here uh, we can find so previously it was showing not connected and now it is showing the connected in the TTN so uh, we can go to this gateways options in the console in the console gateways so this info byte was the gateway uh, which we were configured in the last video so here it is showing connected and uh, this has been connected to the another gateway so it is showing connected and uh, this is the configuration which we have done now so successfully it is showing connected here and then after this connection we can remove the LAN port means LAN cable from the LAN port and then only power supply will be required to the LoRa module and then here after removing the LAN port Wi-Fi connectivity I have lost so I can connect the Wi-Fi here as I have removed the LAN cable there and now so by the Wi-Fi so this Wi-Fi I am accessing this so successfully we have configured the LoRa gateway module single channel LoRa gateway module I hope you like the video so please subscribe to our channel thank you